Slum Travelers, Ladies in London Poverty, 1860-1920, by Ellen Ross explores the complex intersection of gender, class, and urban poverty in late 19th and early 20th century London. Ross's work offers a nuanced analysis of the experiences and motivations of middle-class women who ventured into the slums of London to study and document the lives of the urban poor. Through a meticulous examination of primary sources, Ross unveils the multifaceted dynamics of slum travel, shedding light on how it shaped both the perceptions of the poor and the identities of the observers. One of the central arguments in Ross's book is the idea that slum travel was not a monolithic activity but rather a diverse and evolving practice. She demonstrates how middle-class women engaged with London slums in various ways, ranging from philanthropic endeavors to sociological research. This diversity is essential for understanding the broader social and political context of the time. Ross contends that women's involvement in slum travel was influenced by their class backgrounds, personal beliefs, and the broader social and economic changes of the era. Ross argues that the slum travelers' observations were heavily influenced by their middle-class perspective, which often led to biased and sometimes condescending portrayals of the poor. While these women sought to bring attention to the harsh living conditions and social injustices faced by the urban poor, their portrayals often reinforced stereotypes and maintained a sense of moral superiority. Ross aptly points out that slum travel was not merely an objective study of poverty but a complex interplay of sympathy, voyeurism, and paternalism. Moreover, Ross emphasizes the significance of gender in shaping slum travelers' experiences. She highlights how women were often given more access to the private lives of the poor, particularly women and children, which allowed for a unique perspective. This gendered lens also influenced the subjects of their investigations, as many women focused on issues related to family and domesticity. However, Ross also notes that women's access to certain spaces and communities was limited by societal norms, further influencing their observations. The book provides a nuanced analysis of the motivations behind slum travel. While some women were genuinely driven by a desire to alleviate poverty and improve the lives of the poor, others engaged in slum travel for personal fulfillment, adventure, or career advancement. Ross skillfully dissects these motivations and shows how they evolved over time, reflecting changing social and political landscapes. Ross's exploration of the impact of slum travel on the observer's own lives and identities is another vital aspect of her analysis. She argues that engaging with the slums often led to a transformation in the women's perceptions of themselves and their roles in society. As they confronted the harsh realities of poverty, many slum travelers grappled with questions of privilege and responsibility. Some became advocates for social reform, while others retreated into the comfort of their middle-class lives. Ross's examination of these personal transformations adds depth to her narrative and underscores the complexity of the slum travel experience. In conclusion, Slum Travelers, Ladies in London Poverty, 1860-1920, by Ellen Ross provides a comprehensive and insightful analysis of the multifaceted phenomenon of slum travel. Through meticulous research and a keen understanding of the historical context, Ross unveils the complexities of this practice, highlighting the influence of class, gender, and personal motivations on the observations and portrayals of the urban poor. Her work contributes significantly to our understanding of how middle-class women engaged with poverty and social reform in the rapidly changing landscape of Victorian and Edwardian London. Ultimately, Ross's book challenges us to critically examine the motivations and implications of studying and documenting the lives of marginalized communities, a question that remains relevant in contemporary society.